Hi, Greg here with another floor framing detail from the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing. There may be times when you are working on a cantilever structure and you need to reinforce the TGI joists. Today we're going to look at how to do that using another shorter TGI joist for added strength. To do this, the OSB webs of the TGI joists must be connected together using a 2x6 filler block. The E4 cantilever detail shows us exactly how to do this. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to cut the 2x6 lumber filler block. In this example, the length is 6 feet, but it will vary depending on your TGI joist depth. Next, place the TGI joist on top of the 2x6 and nail through the OSB web of the TGI joist with 10D nails on center. For your next step, Attach the second six feet long TGI joist with two rows of 10D nails at six inches on center. Again, we're nailing through the OSB web of the reinforcing joist through the two by six and finally into the OSB web of the TGI floor joist. Now be sure that you are nailing through the OSB web and not the flanges. Then turn the assembly over and clench the nails. Clinching simply means bending the nails over and pounding them flat. This is a requirement that provides additional reinforcement and ensures a tight bond. Once that's done, you can go ahead and install the completed assembly into the floor system at the cantilever location. We hope you've learned more about the E4 detail and how you can use lumber as a reinforcement for cantilevers. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video brought to you by Warehouser, manufacturer of truss joist engineered wood products. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series of floor framing details, which you'll find online at trustjoyce.com videos. You can also find more detailed information on floor framing in the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing, which is available online or from your local representative.